Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today in Jenkins Day 9 series, we are going to create a Jenkins pipeline that will be accepting the parameters and at the runtime of parameters, we will be passing the machine names which is going to run the particular Ansible playbooks on the particular machine. So let us begin. So what is my requirement? I want to create a pipeline job. That job should be accepting the parameters and the parameters should be taking the machine name where you want to run your playbooks. So what I have done, let us understand the code line by line. So pipeline will be a starting and then this curly braces start and in the end we are closing it. Agent any. It will, this will run on any of the available agents. Here for parameters, we have a separate sections here in the pipeline. After agent any, you have to start with the keyword parameters, start the curly braces and close the curly braces. And in between, as many parameters you want to use, you can use those many parameters. Now, next thing comes in our mind. How to know which parameter is as per our requirement? So in our free style jobs, we have seen we have a string parameter, password parameter, choice parameter, file parameters. So as per our requirement, we can use that kind of parameters. And then the type of parameter, suppose I'm using a string parameter. So here keyword a string. Then name of your parameter. So my name of parameter is server name. What is the default value? So right now we are passing the default value as localhost. Now description, you can enter the description like what exactly this parameter is going to do. So here I'm writing the description, please enter the server name. Now we are closing this. Right now I'm using only one parameter. So we are closing this parameter section here. Now in the stages sections, we have one stage called playbook run. And inside that stage, we have a step sections where actual execution of a script begins. So using the sh command means using the cell section, we are just running sudo ansible-playbook and our playbook name. So playbook is kept in home vagrant install.yml file and then inventory hyphen i means inventory. And then I'm telling get the server name. But here I'm using dollar keyword. So what is meaning of this dollar keyword? So this dollar keyword will assume that, okay, this is the parameter. So using dollar, whatever the string parameter name, we have given server name. So I'm just telling at the place of inventory, you get the server name and replace it with the actual server name and then run your playbooks. So now let us save this and let us click on build with parameters. So here you can see server name is coming as parameter name in bold and then it's telling please enter the server name. So here right now I want to run it on localhost and as a default I have given localhost. So default localhost is written. But suppose if you want to run it on some another machine, you can definitely do that. Right now we don't have any machines, but still let me give the wrong, wrong machine details. So 10.9.8.11. So this is the machine IP suppose and then click on the build button. So now you can see the progress here. You can see the pipeline build has started and let us see what happens. So here you can see it is running the playbook on this machine 10.9.8.11. So what, how exactly it got replaced? So with the parameter when you passed it exactly take, took this machine name and now it's trying to run our playbook. So let us see what happens. Is it going to succeed or it's going to fail? Accordingly, we will see. So it's right now doing the task check. And after this tasks execution, you will get the, a message that either it was able to execute it or it was not able to execute it properly. Oh, you see, this has worked perfectly. And this machine was the IP address of same machine where I wanted to run uh, the Ansible playbook. So this has executed successfully. And you can see it has finished successfully. So, and one changes has been done. So whatever the playbook content I wanted to execute, this has been executed successfully. 
So I hope you guys understood how to create a Jenkins pipeline job with parameters and you can pass the parameters at the runtime. In industries also, you have to write similar kind of pipeline jobs where you can get the dynamic parameters passed at the runtime and then you will execute your playbooks. So now if you see, generally we have a string parameter, text parameter, boolean parameter, choice parameter and password parameter. So for a string, this is the default syntax. You can re replace the name with the actual name of your parameter, default value, similar way text parameter or boolean parameter, choice parameter or password parameter. So this way you can use the parameters. This is the, and this is the default Jenkins space where you can get the syntax and then you can use it inside your pipelines. And as I explained, you can call those using dollar and actual parameter name directly you will use. That way you can call the parameters as per your need. So I hope this concept is now clear to you guys. Let us meet in another session with more detailed concept about Jenkins pipeline. Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time.